Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Roblox Lua Introduction to Scripting. In this tutorial we will be talking about while loops. While loops, just a quick rundown before I get into the meat of the tutorial, are loops that run over and over and over again until either they are broken out of, which will explain what a break is, or the condition becomes false. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, insert object script. Blow up this text here so it's actually legible. So a while loop as I was just saying, is a loop that runs over and over and over. Now let's think about this. Has anybody ever seen maybe a figure eight um, or like heard of a figure eight in like ice skating? What happens is somebody starts at one point and creates like an eight symbol in the ice with their skates. And they can do this forever, going across the same tracks, doing the exact same thing over and over. And it technically never has to end because they never reach the end of the figure eight. An eight, much like the infinity sign except vertical, not horizontal, and a bit less stretched out, just goes on forever because it loops with itself. And the infinity symbol does that too. It loops with itself. And there's a lot of other symbols and other loops that their start and their end you can't find it because there is no start and there is no end it's just this one thing that never really has an ending however it can be finite in how it's performed or how it looks or something like that because an eight while it is infinitely looped is still just an eight if that makes sense and there's an 8 for reference. <laughs> okay, so a while loop or any loop in uh, scripting or programming is very similar. It can go on forever and ever and ever doing the exact same thing it does every single time forever and ever or it can, it's a little bit different in that it actually can change um, but that's programming. Programming is magic. It can change, it, programming can do pretty much anything like you can imagine a computer doing. Um, and probably even more, because think outside of the box and you can make anything. But let's go ahead and go over while loops. So here's a pretty basic while loop right here. Uh, print hello world wait. Okay, so here's like the template while loop in scripting for like Lua. I'll explain it word for word right now. While, that's a key word for starting a while loop. In between while and do, do by the way kind of is like, let me go ahead and make an if statement that is similar. If true then print, oh that's not how you spell print, print hello world. These two are very similar. We have if true then print hello world and actually let me go ahead and copy and paste the wait as well just to make it that much more similar. If true then print hello world wait end and I think I've gone over wait. If I haven't gone over wait I will in this tutorial because it is a vital component to Roblox Lua uh, for while loops. And then we have while true do print hello world wait end. Let's go over this real quick. So with an if statement we know that the if begins the if statement then in between the if and the then then kind of finishes the if statement uh, condition and starts off the block of the if statement so if then in between is the condition which in this case is true meaning it's pretty much just always going to happen every time you get to this if statement because true is always true it's not a variable name it's an actual value so if true then, okay, it's going to print hello world. It's going to wait the minimum amount of time and then it's going to end. Okay. Very, very, very similar is the while true do. While begins a tr while loop. It tells Roblox, well, it just tells Lua, okay, I'm starting a while loop. Do says, okay, I'm done giving you the condition for my while loop. From here on out until my respective end, which is like this, then and and I say respective because it's not the next end you can have multiple ends nested within each other we're gonna get to that uh, probably not this tutorial but sometime in the future 
So we've got while true do end, print hello world, and then wait. The true is the condition for this while loop. The true could be anything. It could be is having a good day, as we've done in the past. It could be one plus variable num equals equals two, meaning it'd have to be one. It could be that, but we're just going to go with true right now because, well, it's kind of the blanket thing. So I'm going to go ahead and take out this if statement, but here's the important thing to know. While true do makes an infinite loop, much like the eight, okay? Because here's how it's going to work. While true do, and let's, uh, I'll do, I'm just going to put a one here, and I'll explain what this wait thing is in a moment. This is just to make it easier for us on the output. So while true do makes an infinite loop, because the thing about a while loop is it will run through its block, which is the code in between the do and the end, it will run through its block infinitely until, and it will just keep doing the same block over and over and over, do all the same code over and over and over and over. You can use if statements to make it not the exact same thing, but still the same block. It goes over and over and over and over. Until the condition, which in this case is true, becomes false. Or it's broken out of, but we'll get to breaks, possibly not even in this tutorial. We might have to go over breaks in the following tutorial. But this creates an infinite loop. An infinite, infinite, infinite loop. Because true can never be false. So let's go ahead and run this. If I go to test run. Hello world, hello world, hello world, hello world, hello world, hello world, hello world. Okay, I'm going to stop this now. Reset. And, okay. We see how there was a hello world printed pretty much every second. One Mississippi, hello world, one Mississippi, hello world. Over and over and over. This would have gone on forever. Now, you might be asking why was it one second. I'll get to that in a moment. Let's go ahead and clear our out. Well, no, I won't clear our output. That's... This is still all fairly important, so I'll keep it there. Here's what went on. Here's why it printed hello world so many times, because if you look at this script, from what you know already, unless you've already figured out what I just said um, like a couple seconds ago regarding the fact that it goes over its block over and over and over again, infinitely, um, you would think that it should print hello world once, kind of like an if statement. It does it once, right? Well, not the case with while loops or any loop. There's another, there's like other loop types, and we'll be going over the next most um, used one, uh, probably in one of the next two or three tutorials. Just so you guys know, the next one is much better and should be used in almost like 85% of all occasions that you need a loop. This while loop should be used and reserved only for when you need it. But the while loop is much simpler, which is why we're going to teach it first. So while true do, and it does its loop over and over and over. See, it printed hello world to the output infinitely. Just kept printing hello world over and over and over and over and over. And it would have never stopped had I not stopped the test simulation. It would have just kept printing once every second. Now let me just cover why it's once every second. This wait command, which I think I've gone over before, but I can't really confirm or deny it, seeing as I don't have a video dedicated to it. Um, the wait is just, it's a command built into Roblox Lua, not typical Lua. It's a Roblox Lua thing only. And it's just a function that, okay, delay the script. Don't do anything with this script for however many seconds. Now this could have been like... 0 0.5 meaning half a second by putting one which means a full second if you don't put any number it goes to the smallest amount of time that Roblox allows for it to wait okay which I think is like um, 0 0.03 seconds or maybe it's 0 0.003 um, some really small amount of time like it's hardly measurable um, in human terms but it's the smallest amount of time but that's negligible doesn't matter so it's waiting one second because this command just tells Roblox Lua okay hold off don't do anything else with this script 
for this amount of time. Now it's not perfect, just so you guys know, it's not always a perfect one second. It might be a couple hundred milliseconds off maybe, even, well, a hundred milliseconds is pretty far off, but it could be off, okay? So it could be off. But print hello world and then wait one second. Cool. So this is going to happen infinitely. It's going to print hello world, then it's going to wait for a single second and then it's going to go back and it's going to loop through again. And then it's going to, well, actually, no, what it's going to do is it's going to go back to this line. It's going to reevaluate the condition. If the condition is still true, then it's going to do the block again. Then it's going to go back and reevaluate this. Then it's going to do it again if it's still true, over and over. And since it is just true, it is going to do that. And every single time it evaluates the condition, it's just going to do it again. It never ends. So it just goes go, go, go. Go, go, done. Okay? Here's something important to note. If we take out this wait and we press test, run. Oh no, it crashed! Okay? It crashed because we had an infinite loop that didn't wait. It was taking up all of the like time. Roblox couldn't launch itself because as soon as it started running that script, that script infinitely kept doing the same thing. It kept printing hello world to the output infinitely and it never ever stopped and it never ever even waited a third of a hundredth of a second so that more computing could be done. The computer or the program was completely and entirely dedicated to that while true do loop and it froze everything this is extremely 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 important this is why I wanted to show you guys the weight as well because you have to have a weight in an infinite loop or even a loop that's just going to happen a lot of times and um, you need a weight okay you need it or else you crash Roblox and obviously crashing your game is a terrible way of getting it popular so I'm going to skip ahead to after I boot Roblox Studio back up because it's crashed. <laughs> All right, we're back. It took two minutes to boot back up after that crash. So that just emphasizes even more so the importance of the line that I'm about to write again. Because right now we just have it doing the infinite loop that would crash Roblox. Wait one. And it doesn't even have to be one. It could be the least amount of time possible. But that's going to increase lag a little bit more so than just doing it once a second. Because printing something to the output once a second is really not very resource intensive. Meaning, it doesn't take up much computing. It's pretty easy for the computer to do. To do that once a second. So print hello world, wait one second. Okay, done. Didn't crash our game. So this is how to create an infinite loop properly. I want to note properly. And here's something I really want you all to know right here. A while loop is one of the most abused things in Roblox scripting. Do not use this regularly if possible. And the reason I say that is there are events, which I don't believe I've really gone over events, but we will in the future. Um, possibly not in the introduction uh, playlist. However, we will go over events, and I stress that you watch the events tutorial. We will go over events. We will be going over the next type of loop, which is probably the best and most efficient type of loop there is. But the problem with while loops, have you ever been in a laggy game on Roblox? I can almost guarantee you, it's probably a great bet. I'd probably win 90% of the time that the reason the game is laggy is because there is a unkept poorly written while loop while loops infinite while loop that's the important part but a while loop is the easiest thing to add lag to your game because a while loop runs itself over and over and over and over and over and over infinitely doing the same thing over and over and if the wait if you have a complicated maybe it's just one complicated math problem Okay, it could be just a complicated math problem that actually doesn't do anything. And then you just wait the smallest amount of time. It's having to calculate that math problem over and over and over and over, like 300 times a second. 
That is incredibly difficult, and it can add incredible lag to your game. Do not use while loops unless necessary. This is the main thing I want to stress to you. However, I do say, go ahead and play around with while loops after this tutorial and get a good feel for them. They are fun, and if used correctly, they can be incredibly helpful, and I don't want to scare you from using while loops properly. While loops can be used properly and help your game tremendously, but I do want to say that as you get better in scripting, as you get better in programming, you will find yourself finding ways to avoid while loops because they are so terrible at what they do. However, in your early goings, please go ahead and use these, get comfortable with them, but as you watch more tutorials, find every way you can to make while loops not used in your games. There will be different ways to do it and they are meant to be better. While loops are supposed to be a last resort. Okay? So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you haven't, then let me know. But please go ahead and ask any questions you might have in the question section below this video. Answer any questions that you possibly can below this video. Help everybody out. And take the quiz questions. If you guys don't, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, you can post this in the comments too. But if you guys don't know what I'm talking about with questions, there is a website, and I'm only going to say this a few times because it's brand new. But it's code.theorem.com. Go visit it. There's a whole bunch of awesome resources in all of my channels. Uh, videos that I put on there will have a quiz. It, they will have a question section, and you can post on the great forum as well. Anyway, thank you guys again for watching. And I will catch you guys next time.